Hello everyone, my name is Navid and welcome to today's video. In the previous video we have learned PLC wiring and how to download our code to a real PLC. Today we talk about syncing and sourcing PLC inputs and we will learn different PLC inputs and outputs wiring types. If you look at the data sheet of PLC or in TIA portal, you will see that some PLCs have these features for inputs. Sync source. What does it mean? We know when this switch is open, there is zero volt at the module input terminal. If it is closed, there will be 24 volt in this terminal. With zero volt, input indicator will be off and with 24 volt will be on. This is what we have done in previous video and it called syncing inputs. That means we connect the common terminal to neutral or zero volt. Another type is sourcing type. That means we have connected the common terminal to our source 24 volt. This time if we connect the input to the zero volt the input will be activated and it will have logic one and indicator um, will be on so why and where do we use these types the reason is that we have different type of sensors pnp and npn pnp sensor gives you 24 volts as output and NPN has an output with zero volt. Therefore, if you use PNP sensor, you must use syncing inputs. And if you want to use NPN, you should use sourcing inputs. Now let's talk about output wiring types. For output, if our load draws less than 2 ampere, then we can connect it to PLC directly. If it draws more than 2 ampere, we need to use an external relay with more than 2 ampere output of PLC energize relay coil and contacts of relay will change. We connect our load with desired voltage and ampere to contacts of external relay. Let's show this in TIA portal and with PLC. I have a PNP sensor and I will show you how to connect it to PLC and wire it. You need to connect brown wire to L plus. Then below to M.
if you test the sensor with multimeter it will give you 24 volts when the sensor sends Connect it to the I0.0. Write a simple program to activate output when the sensor is active. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will learn how to use watch table.